hi friends this is imran let us start today start pro 2d analysis with 2d frame let's open the start pro create new project in space or you can this is 2d structure so we will select as plane name as 2d frame structure 2d frame or save wherever you want you can save it units meters force kilonewtons next add beam in more and finish here the new file will open in the grid model as you can show the grid here I am scrolling the grid point it is in XY direction you can change your grid plane also it is isometric view I am changing is as front view plus Z direction now we can see clearly in XY direction or you can edit the snap or you can start wherever you want the origin point you can create or edit the select the plane or you can create a certain angle in y direction where you have to start your drawing at present I am taking only 10 units at x axis and 10 units at y axis with the spacing of 1 meter and ok now let us start a 2d frame let us consider a 2d frame with simply supported 2d frame with simply supported mm. the height of the 2d frame let us take as 4 units and width of the or length of the 2d frame let us take consider as 5 meters and complete the third member at 5 yeah here you can see that 4 members 1 2 3 4 just click on escape it will be stop close of the grid snap mode or grid mode in the top of the fourth column fifth term here is the 2d frame let us see the dimension which we are given is right or wrong in the dimension view display 4 meters is height 5 meters is width and 4 meters is height again and we are removing the dimensions and closing this now our 2d frame design uh, 2d frame structure is ready in the geometry view let us give some properties in general session we will select as property let us define some properties let us consider as rectangle section let us give two types of properties one for column and one for beam let us consider for beam 0.25 with 0.35 or 0.35 Con uh, material as concrete add and for column we will consider as a square column 3535 add and close let us give first property to beam select highlight the properties in properties mode like here we can you can see that blue color blue and press control click on the wherever the member where the beam is in the geometry view of it will appear as a red color click on assign it will show it will ask the command for you how do you want to proceed or not click on yes it will show the reaction that r1 the member is have taken the property let us give the same as uh, property 2 for the columns that is 0 0.35 to 0 0.35 for beam 1 and beam 3 assign here yeah. now the property is completed let us give supports let us create fixed support at both ends 
create and assigning use cursor to assign the mode will be let us click on assign it will come automatically you can see the fixed support is moving wherever you want you just click on the node point it will take automatically and click assign it will complete the property here the three steps is completed first drawing the geometry second property has given for the structure third the structure has fixed at the bottoms and fifth point is let us give some loads in the loads we will talk about the definitions later in some structural heavy analysis let's first give some geometrical loads for the structure let us load case details at primary load case number one select as dead load give title as dead load add second type live load give title as live load add and close let us give a dead load to give dead load select on dead load click on add it will appear a new window with self fit automatically it will go to directly self fit for the structure will give minus one self fit in the direction of y add and close again dead load add let us give you a member load of minus 5 kilo newtons for the entire dead load dead load is nothing but it will accept the permanent load okay there will be no change if live load is just considered as a person who is passing on the building or traveling on the building but dead load will itself give that dead load will be withstand permanently so we are giving dead load as minus 5 add close let's give dead load uh, self weight to the structure select on self weight assign to view assign yes next dead load select select the member assign to assign to selected member assign yes now you can see that the dead load is appearing let's give few loads considered as live load let us take live load add live load as a member load of half of the dead load we are given 5 kilo newtons for dead load let us give minus 2.5 kilo newtons as live load the live load is just passing let us take a nodal loads nodal loads in the direction of minus 5 kilo newton one nodal load 0 minus 10 1 node and minus 3 kilo newton as sorry in the direction of z will take minus 3 kilo newtons add and close let's give these question marks all we have taken four loads for first we'll give UDL that is uniform use cursor to assign assign here the load is coming wherever you want to give you can give it yeah it has taken the live load on the member let us select second one wherever you want it is in the direction of FY F5 so we will give in the nodal point 2 and it is in the direction of minus fx so in the direction will give at the bottom will give at the top of the third node in the direction of fz is minus will give this is in the direction of second node you can see all here is a node you can see it clearly I am zooming it for you to watch the node yeah now it's clear that's a blue structure blue node which is appearing to you is the minus 
थ्री किलो न्यूटन लोड्स आर कंप्लीटेड लेट्स डिफाइन अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ लोड एड कॉम्बिनेशन हैव टू बी क्रिएटेड लेटस कंसिडर एज ए ऑटो लोड कॉम्बिनेशन सेलेक्ट एज कोड आई इंडियन कोड सेलेक्ट जनरल स्ट्रक्चर जनरेट कोड हियर वी यू कैन सी दैट फोर टाइप्स ऑफ कॉम्बिनेशन इज क्रिएटेड लेट्स क्रिएट एड क्लोज ऑटोमेटिकली ऑल द लोड्स हैव टेकन दैट फोर टाइप्स ऑफ कॉम्बिनेशन Like uh, select on analysis and print, add, close, analysis, run analysis, save. The total 2D structure designing is completed. Analysis is going on. Here we have get one warning. Where we have get one warning? Let us see in the output file. Yeah, what is showing? Out of planes. loads applied in a plane structure what is the mean of out of load means here loads are much so the structure has not it created let's go to general property in the member we'll change the member dimension as point Five will take. It's assigned directly. Assigned close. Let's here also change it. Let's here create jet five as point five. Assigned directly close. Again we have to go. We have to give self weight for the structure. And again analysis run analysis save. Let's see in output file well, what is showing. Again, is showing out of plane loads applied in a plane structure. Yeah, out of plane. Yeah, I forgot that in the live load it show we have given minus jet direction. Minus jet direction is not. It is in the form of 2D. So we don't want. We don't have to give the loads in the direction of jet. So I am deleting the minus jet direction and again I am doing analysis for the structure. we have only x direction and y direction here you can see the zero error zero warning zero notes we output file here is your output it was not designed it let us design beam and column select concrete mode select is456 as code we are designing for is456 as per indian standard first unselect all this select fc compressive strength of concrete and f5 main reinforcement of concrete okay define parameters give fc as 25 or 20000 let us take as m20 concrete will give 20000 kN per m square and f5 main as 415 f5 415 let us consider 4000 uh, 415000 will give add close commands design beam add design column add take off add close and let us assign all the question mark first fc 2000 assign to view fy main assign to view design beam assign to view sorry sorry design view assign not to beam design view select a beam Where where you want to go? Assign the selected beam. Assign design column. The two columns will have to select it. Assign the total. All the terms have assigned. Let us do analysis for the 2D structure. Here showing zero errors, zero warning, zero notes. let us go to output file concrete design we'll see here is the member beam number 2 this is beam result 500 250 here is the main uh, summary of reinforcement required and the 
top reinforcement how whatever the structure have to give what uh, ties and uh, rods which we have to provide in the down we can see the shear result shear design result let us see column design in the below sections the two columns have different different every column every individual column have their own design it will vary column to column design finally how much concrete is needed it is in the form of newtons 1164 newtons it's equals to the total volume of reinforcement is required 116.4 kg it is in the form of kilo newton uh, sorry newton so we have to divide by 10 it will transfer into kg or you can divide directly 9.81 kg force it will come into kg the total volume of the concrete is required 2 cubic meter for the entire 2d frame let's go to post processing let's see the deflection where the deflection is going on how the deflection is going on the structure is deflecting like this you can see in the deflection let us see axial force here is the axial force let us see values click on results view values click on beams and midpoint all reactions we have to see so selecting all the points all directions we have to see all directions so i am selecting all points here all the reactions you can observe it here is the axial force reaction here you can see this 50 kilo newton 50.47 kilo newton or top 75.209 kilo newton or bottom for the column for the beam it is 18.064 entire structure let us see the bending moment is the maximum bending moment is 47.29 and the at the left side at the right side 35.369 for the column the bending moment is minus 18.064 here you can see the reactions reactions for the nodes here is the entire structure you can see the result let us see the mz direction that is stress here is the maximum stress minimum stress and the total side stresses you can observe it this is the entire 2d structure thanks for watching guys jai hind good luck bye